All right, guys. <clears throat> Welcome back to the channel. So today we are doing an install that's not really an install, but we're doing something that I have little to no patience for um, when it comes to just cars in general, and that's vinyl wrap. Uh, I hate vinyl wrap. I hate dealing with it. I hate, I, I just, I have no patience for it, but we're gonna give it a shot today. So I did place an order with Premium Auto Styling a couple weeks back, and I've had these uh, vinyl pieces sitting around in my garage for a while, and I haven't really touched them. So we're gonna do that today, and we are going to spice up the outside of the STI a little bit with some vinyl. Um, there's a 90% chance I screw this up and the vinyl doesn't go on the Subaru, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. So what we got are some rocker panel dealios. It's the bottom portion of the door here. And it's kind of like these weird black strips. I have a vision in my mind for what I wanna do after it's on there, but first I wanna see, even see if I can get it on there. What we need to do here is really clean the bottom portion of the door here. I have some like speed shine. I don't have a clay bar or anything in the garage or else I'd clay bar it. So we're just gonna clean the hell out of it real quick and then uh, jump into attempting to install these. Now, I have a heat gun. I'll probably need the heat gun. I have a razor blade and I, ha I ordered their little felt scraper guy to smooth out everything. So we're just, we're gonna give it a shot. I'm awful at this, so let's just try it. Uh, so as you guys just saw, we just cleaned the bottom rocker panel off of the doors. Now, luckily there is a body line going all the way across on the bottom of the door right there, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a straight piece of tape going all the way across as my reference point. Uh, so that way we kind of know where to lay the vinyl when we're doing this. So that way one side isn't higher than the other and it doesn't look as bad. So I'm gonna get a piece of tape thrown across that bottom rocker panel and then uh, we'll attempt to start putting some of this vinyl on here. So I think I'm gonna start with this smaller rear piece first to try to get the hang of this because I don't think I'm gonna do this right because I never do vinyl right. So let's go for it. We're just gonna go for it. Worst comes to worst, we ruin the vinyl, right? All right, so this piece somehow is going to sit on somewhat like that. Now I know from doing this in the past, it helps to spray down a little solution. And then uh, we've got our tool ready to go here. So I think I'm gonna start at the front where it's a little easier and squared off than this weird corner back here and then slowly start working my way back. Oh my God, I'm already terrified. All right, so I'm gonna stay on line with the tape. Oh my God, this is terrifying. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Where's the squeegee? Give me the squeegee. I can do this. I can do this. I would so much rather be pulling an engine than doing this. Oh my God. It's like wrinkling. I know I can heat it up. Why are you not straight? I need you to be straight there, bud. I, I feel like this is a good spot. I feel like we're doing good right now. You know, I don't quite understand how some of you guys wrap your own cars. Whoever wraps their own car, like I... Dude, you have so much more patience and like determination than I do. I really do. I feel it. Oh my God, there's bubbles. Pretty proud of this first piece so far. I feel like it's really working and going on how we need it to. So I think I'm gonna remove this tape up to here, which, hey, I forgot. I have this fun razor blade and then Okay, all right, look at that. So far, so good. So far, so good. Um, I think I need to put a heat gun on it. I think a heat gun is required to really get it to stick. I'm not entirely sure though. So I need to get this piece inside of that door jam. So I think the easiest way to do that is gonna be to open the door, obviously. All right, you guys, so I think I got it. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Like I said, I'm not good at vinyl wrapping by any means, uh, but it's on there and there's no air bubbles or anything. So I'm, I think it's good. I think it's good. These corners keep peeling though. 
Damn it. So I think this side's good. I'm gonna jump over to this side and then we'll, we'll touch up anything else over here. But so far, it doesn't look bad. So, I mean, we'll see what it looks like after I get the other side on, but so far, so good. Oh God, dude, I'm already over this. I'm like actually already over this. I don't even care to finish this anymore. This is an install that I really just don't care to do. Why did I do this to myself? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right chill. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. All right, so follow the body line and all will be good. Okay, oh my God. I hate this already. All right, we're good. Where's the little paddle guy? Okay, I feel like I need to start at this end and work my way down. All right, there we go. So this is taking me way longer than it should have, but I'm okay. I'm like okay-ish with the results. The corners on it aren't too bad, but I'll show you guys those here soon. Overall, it lines up how I wanted it to and not one, one side's not higher than the other side. Overall, it doesn't look too bad either. I still have the other side to do, but I'm gonna time-lapse that so you guys don't have to put up with that. Um, but, oh my God, dude, this is awful. Once I get the other side done, I'll show you like all the struggle areas I've been having with this. Once again, please remember, I, I am awful. Absolutely awful at putting vinyl on cars. The back piece was a lot easier than the front piece. The front piece was, geez, oh my God. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna knock out the other side real quick, then we'll recap and I'll show you guys all the pain points of this because Jesus, fuck, this thing is a pain in the ass to put on. All right, you guys, so uh, there it is. Uh, it's installed on both sides, and I'm gonna tell you right now, this was awful to install. No part of this was enjoyable at all. I thought, I was like, hey, this will be a fun install to do. Not even an install. This will be a fun thing to do, right? Right? No. God, no. If anyone has the patience to wrap a car, like, honestly, kudos to you. I just did four of these tiny little strips, and I, I never, I never want to do it again. Don't want to do it again. I'd rather pull the injectors out of the car than, than do this again. So I quickly found out that heat, heat is my best friend. And look, that fucking goddamn corner doesn't want to stay in. So, I mean, I went through here and I tried my damnedest to get the vinyl to stick up on the inside of the doors. Now, the areas that were the hardest that really didn't want to stick was the inside of the door jam down here, right in there. The inside of the door down there and literally everywhere else going around the outside of the door. Uh, so, I mean, I re honestly, I don't hate the look of it. I really don't hate the look of it. Like it doesn't look bad at all, but the other side is, uh, hold up. I'll show you the other side. The other side doesn't look terribly bad. It doesn't look too bad until, oh my God, I can see it down here. I think I'm going to end up taking it off. Uh, actually, you know, I'm gonna be honest, I think it's just gonna end up falling off. Um, I really fucked this side up by putting it too high up, right over here in the middle, and you can see right down here on the bottom, there's just not enough vinyl down there to wrap, wrap around the door. So if anyone does have any recommendations on doing vinyl in the future, if I decide to do this again, um, not this exact rocker panel one, but just vinyl in the future, drop it below because my patience for vinyl is Tiny, absolutely tiny. So I found out when I was doing this, I did the I did the initial spray onto the body and then stuck the sticker on. And that was that already was awful because the whole thing wanted to move, but I finally got it centered or lined up where I needed it. And then I started squeegeeing out some of the solution. Now, once I started getting the solution out, the vinyl didn't want to stick. So that's when I got the heat gun and like I was really, really heating up the vinyl to try to get it to stick. And I think, I think I got it. Um, except for that one panel where I screwed it up just a little bit, but I, th I think I'm gonna see what happens with that one. If it starts to come off, I'm just gonna take it all off. But I, I really started heating it up and kind of stretching it a little bit around the edges to try to get it to stick on there. And even doing that, it didn't want to stick. So I took that like, hold up. I took like this felt squeegee and like I was like really jamming it up into the vinyl to try to get it on there. And it just, it still didn't want to all the way go on. <sighs> Why is this my life? I'd rather, I'm just gonna stick to installs and like actual parts because 
Clearly this is not for me. There are no air bubbles in it, which are nice. There's a wrinkle. There's a couple wrinkles. Nothing, nothing too bad out of the ordinary, but it's on there. I'm gonna leave it on there for a while and see just how long it lasts. Cause I do have a feeling that it's gonna come off, but we'll find out if it stays on there, then we're just gonna keep it on. If it falls off, then it's all coming off. Maybe, I don't know. This is kind of giving me the idea to wrap the entire car, not me, um, but maybe I have a couple buddies who know how to do it. So maybe they can show me how, and then, I'm, and then I can attempt. But my, my patience level for vinyl, like I said, is just bleh. But I've always wanted to do like a, uh, what is it? A uh, blah, 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 brushed, brushed titanium wrap on the car, which people, I'm, my buddy's old Subaru was wrapped in the brushed titanium and it looked tray magnifique. But if anyone has any like really cool color ideas to wrap the Subaru, let me know. Let me know, I'm open for ideas. Open for ideas. Maybe we'll change up the color of the Blueberry. But like I said, I mean, I am pretty happy with the fact that I even got the vinyl on there because to be honest, I thought I was gonna get like two or three panels into this and be like scrapping the whole project, not even doing it. Um, so at least it's on there. And like I said, if anyone does have any like cool color ideas to wrap the Subaru with, uh, drop them below and let me know because I'm open to options right now. If I do end up wrapping it, uh, I wanna do like a brush titanium kind of look. I think that would be kind of cool. I don't really see a lot of cars that color. So it'd be an option that I would be totally open to. But anyways, this was just meant to be a short little fun video of doing some wrap on the Subaru, or at least attempting to do this wrap on the Subaru. Like I said, I don't know if it's gonna fall off or not, but if you guys enjoyed this leisurely, just hanging out in the garage, kind of throwing some wrap on the car, go ahead, smash that like button. Ooh, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you wanna be one of these corners, I will select it. Go ahead, click that little picture of me because it's a little odd, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies.